Good evening, everybody. Dr. Glow here with Black Girl Everything. I am super excited to be back recording. This is my first interview, actually, in 2022. Wow. Yes, I took I ate it. <laughs> Yeah, I took a moment off just to uh, honestly finish my book, but we'll talk a little bit about that later on. So I am so excited today to have you with me. Thank you. I am honored to be here. Very, very honored. Thank you so much for having right. me. So tell everybody, what's your name? Okay, my name is Yele or Abisola, but my brand name is Yele. Everybody just calls me Yele, and Yele is easy to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yes so excited so excited so um i don't know i've been watching you for a while ever since uh sheena introduced you and your brand and everything else i've been following what you've been doing i'm really excited to learn more about you so where are you actually from i'm from nigeria you're from nigeria <laughs> that's great how long have you been here in the states uh, I got here in 2019, so let's say two years. It's going to be two years in April. Two years in April. Oh, okay, that's three pretty dope. Oh, wow. So you're just new here then. Yep, fresh off the boat. <laughs> yeah, you are fresh off the boat. What brought you here? Uh, my husband brought me here. So okay. We had to get married and everything. So I relocated from Nigeria here just to get married to his love of my life. Oh, the love of your life. That's fancy. <laughs> you look so happy. I know. I am. <laughs> no, that's so cool. That's so cool. So, your love of your life brought you here. So, tell me a little bit about your business. So, I can see you in the workshop right now. I can see it. Um, okay, so, I make lovely fashion for females. And sometimes for males, when you know they twist my arm to make it by force and by fire for them. So um, I've been doing this for about five years, and I've been doing it in the United States for about two and a half years, just two and a half years. And um, most of my designs are birthed from the fact that I'm an African, like I'm from Nigeria, and it is like really what's worth. It's really heavy on African prints and African culture and African symbols. Even my prints, you know, some of my prints I make them myself. You know, I say I tell the textile designer exactly what I want, the symbols I want, the colors I want. And you know, it's like it's like one one of a kind. And I'm really mm -hmm. proud of that. <laughs> I'm proud of the print. Um, what else can I say? What else should I say? Well, I don't know. So when did you realize that you really liked fashion so much? Was this something you grew up really enjoying? Oh, I would say I grew up enjoying it. Like when I was younger, I think I spent most of my time watching this. Um, I watched America's Next Top Model. And I watched it because of the dresses that they put the models in sometimes. Like once in a while, they put them in some really crazy dresses. I'm like, oh, who thought of this kind of thing in the first place? Like, what came up in the person's mind to make a dress like this and yeah. uh when i was like way way younger every time i want to like get an outfit it was, i was always not liking it or not liking the color or not liking the pattern or not liking something about it and most of my dresses were custom dresses like i decided that okay let me just go to the tailor and get them made myself or like tell the tailor what I want, put this together, put that together, sleeve here, skirt here, let's make a new dress. And then after a while, this particular tailor that I used to go to with my friend's mom, she got tired of me. I was like, you know what, come and learn from me and make your dresses yourself. Because yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> That's cool. But here, I'm going to stop you for a second because I think you're coming across a little bit muffled okay. from your headphone. Are you on a phone or a laptop? I'm on my laptop. Okay, try unplugging the, the headpiece and see what happens. The headpiece is actually plugged. Hmm? It's actually plugged. Let me unplug it. Is it better now? Yeah. Okay. So that's just not easy. Okay. It's fine. I'm doing one here, so I'm not disturbing anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because what happened was it was it was causing some back some backlash with sound. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. All right. So, so you're going back. So, usually, little girls, so you was making dresses and everything else like that. So, when did, how old were you when you made your first piece? Um, I think I 
was about, I think I was 16 or 17 when I was at this point. And what did it look like? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> great at all but you know it was good enough because i wore it and nobody knew that anything was wrong with it but i knew something was wrong with it but i took a bad dress <laughs> and it was very simple with a very very simple piece it was very simple all i had to do was gather some part and then the rest of this thing so yeah it was simple but it looked good so it looked good everybody else looked good beautiful do you still have it no <laughs> no way i should have kept it as a collector's item no 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 no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like i will completely disown that piece and be like no i didn't make that no it wasn't me it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so you're currently based in baltimore right Yes, I'm in I love Baltimore. It's one of my favorite cities. Oh, when last time, when last did you come here to visit? Yeah, I was just there for my national tour back in, when was I there? Whew, let me think, October, I was there. Wow, last year, October? Yeah, yeah I was just there in October. So, so it's a place I, I go to at least two or three times a year if I get the opportunity to. So okay. I actually like, I really like the city. Come visit. Come yeah, I'm going to come see you now so you can make me some stuff. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. So talking about that, do you do, so you do private consults for people in design? Yes, I do. I do that. Private, wrong with it. Wrong with that. Yes. Okay. So if somebody wanted to actually get something created, how would they go about doing it? Like, what's your process? How does that work? So they'll book an appointment on my website and then we'll have either a virtual meeting or an in-person meeting if they are based in Baltimore. And then we'll talk about the design. If they want me to create a mood board for them or create a mood board, put the colors together, send it to them. We'll consult about it back and forth, back and forth. If they want to sketch you, we can create a sketch of what it's supposed to look like. We do our back and forth. And then we move on to the next day, which is getting the materials for the dress that they want or the outfit that they want. I go online or I go to the store, send them pictures, send them videos, send them links and stuff like that. And then they pick their favorite uh, fabric. Okay, I like this fabric, I like this color. And then mm -hmm. move on, move from fabric. I start the process and then we have our first fitting, second fitting and pick up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very specific. All right. That's your whole process. That's cool. That's cool. So, do you like doing those individualized products, like for people? Mm, I think I like it because it's very what's the word? It's challenging. Gotcha. Like it, it doesn't really talk my creative side, but it challenges me because I, I, you know, it's like I'm reverse engineering or like forward engineering what they want. You know, it's different when I'm inspired and I make something uh, by myself. It, you know, challenges my creativity. But when a customer brings their outfit, it's like it's challenging my skill level, not really mm -hmm. at that point. So it's like a balance. I like it and I don't like it. I have a love it relationship with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I totally get it. I totally get it. Totally, totally get it. So where do you see yourself going where say like like i wore this shirt for you today right it says dream big okay right? i did i specifically wore this for you because i see you getting so big and large with your whole company and everything else but what is your dream where do you see this going okay so my dream my end game my end product what i want is to have at least two or three big ounces of yellow it's going to be called out of yellow and it's not that we're just going to be making dresses I'm going to be mentoring people, helping upcoming fashion designers, imagine fashion designers, give them advice, um, finances if, if uh, it is needed, support if they need it. It's going to be like a place where we groom fashion designers up to give them like shortcuts so that they don't have to go through the stress, some of the stress that I went through 
make it easier, just a little bit easier for them. And that is that is that is actually my dream. It's not really about the dresses, even though it's about the dresses, but yeah. it's about the people. It's about the people for me. What really about the dresses. Okay, that's dope. So it's about the community. So you're really about giving back and everything else and building certain things. Yes, yes, that's my dream. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I <laughs> need them to get to that end result. That end that's it. Okay, all right. I think that's great. I, I like that. I, that definitely aligns with the Black Girl Everything message because I'm all about community, right? Hence, I'm sitting here speaking to you, talking about your message, talking about your brand you know, and everything else like that. And everyone else that I've interviewed in the past is just really reaching out and getting into people's dreams and what they want to tr try to do and see how I can support, like, definitely. Like, I'm going to be supporting on Sunday at your event. Oh, my gosh. Every time I hear about Sunday, I feel like my ass is so busy. <laughs> so tell our viewers about Sunday. So I've been sharing and telling people I'm going to be there. So you tell our people about what Sunday's about and and try to do it without crying. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. So on Sunday, we're going to have 15 people. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be specific about the number of people. We're going to have some number of people. Did you hear how many people that I uh, Did you hear how many people that I mentioned? Did you hear, right? Did you hear? Mm -hmm. Did you hear how many pieces I mentioned? No, how, no, I didn't. I didn't oh, good, 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 good. Let's just cut it up. I didn't mention yeah. pieces. No, you didn't, keep, you didn't mention anything. Just give me a basic summary of the purpose of the event. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to have some pieces that showcases creativity, African luxury, um, beautiful designs. I'm trying to like be very general. And then the piece that I'm most excited about is the wedding dress. There's a wedding dress. It's a realistic on a white wedding dress. What I think a white wedding dress would look like. Like, stay tuned, be ready. <laughs> yes, that's the piece I'm most excited about, the wedding dress. It's going to wow you. It's okay. Gonna... So for, for, our, for us people out here and our <laughs> simple talking folk, she, you're going to have your fashion show here in New York. <laughs> right, to our New York fashion week. Yep. How excited are you to sit here and show your work during one of the most infamous fashion week, fashion weeks in the world? I am super excited. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited that I forgot to mention the venue of the event. That's how excited I am. Like, I forgot yeah. the time. Like, I didn't give any details. I just went straight to the dresses. That's how excited I am. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, I know. I see. I see. Like, you're super excited. But you should be. And you should be so proud of yourself to be even able to be on this platform and have this opportunity to show your work to that. Because this, this is what you're doing is what little girls and little boys and people, I should say, actually dream of being. You know, to have this opportunity to be in this space and share their creativity the way that you're having an opportunity to. And um, it's really, really exciting. That's why I couldn't miss it and I have to be there. And, you know, I'm going to get fitted for my pants tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> nothing like a good pair of pants. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. <laughs> no, I'm excited to see you too. It's definitely, definitely going to be dope. And I'm excited to see all the surprises that I know are, you know, behind this whole event. I've been watching it come together for a while now, mm -hmm. you know, and I know you've been putting a lot of work in the back end for it, definitely. My back hurts. My back hurts. Your back hurts more than the work from the back end. <laughs> No, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. So if people want to find your products, right? Because I've been in and out of your website. I've been watching things as they come up and things come down because I'm just that nosy. I like to really, really when I interview people, I have to really invest in their brand and look at their brand. So I've been watching your website. You guys really, really cool things up there. Really cool things up there. Especially some of these jackets that I'm just really interested in putting on, like that bomber joint you got up there now. I'm like, that is like so fly. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's going to be up for <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. So tell everybody your website so they can check out what you actually have to offer. Okay, so um, my website is yelitsuki.com. Even if you type in yelitsuki on Google, 
is to bring up my website and Google business and everything like that. And like you mentioned, there are a lot of beautiful jackets, a lot of dresses. And the best part of it is that all you have to do is put in your measurement. So it's not as if you're going to have an issue with the fitting when you finally get the dress because it's going to be through your measurement. There's a slot for you to put in all your different measurements for the particular product that you are purchasing. So that it's perfect for you and it's just, yeah, God bless you. Oh, oh, that's dope. So it's not that, oh, it might be my small, but it may not be my small. It might be my medium, but I'm not that type of medium. Oh, this is really a large. So we don't deal with that. So you're, so every piece that you're creating is custom to fit the client. Exactly. exactly. That's so amazing. Thank you. Exactly. That's the point I'm pushing. I'm like, forget sizes. I don't really yeah. want size. I just want to know your measurement because that is what you like. That, that is part of you. No, your size. Your size doesn't define you. Small, medium. It could be small up, medium down, large on the legs. Like, no, we don't want that. We want your size and your measurement. Your yeah, no, I feel you. Because I'm very medium like, and in my hips, I'm quite largo. So, you know, exactly. it goes like that. It'd be like medium, small, large. <laughs> you know? Depending on where you're at on my body. <laughs> so it's just really bent. I see you on that. I see you on that. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, because clothes are not really, they're so straight up and down, and nobody physically, especially people of color, are straight up and down. Yes, we're not. We're not. Like my bust is a different size, my waist is a different size, and my hips are a different size. Like yeah. so what size should I pick when I want to size it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no, I totally get that vibe. I totally get that vibe. I mean, I think that's really, really cool. So when I come and I want to get all my custom pants made mm -hmm. and stuff, so What's the usual turnaround on getting these items done? Okay, so it um, it depends on how complicated the piece is. If it's mm -hmm. a simple piece, most times it's around it's between two to three weeks. Okay. Two to three weeks. But if it's a complicated piece, like, you know, a uh, gown, a long dress, then maybe you have to give me two months to put everything together because it's okay. a lot research and it's done into that but if it's a simple find there's not much research to do you just have a little jacket and we're we good with all the things that we need for that oh, okay that's pretty pretty cool that's pretty pretty cool so i know people at home are proud of you mm. they have to be proud of you yeah. because you're living your best life and you're living your dream yeah Mm -hmm. Right. So for people out here who are thinking about living their dream, what is something that you can share with them? Oh, wow. I would say it's not easy. There are days you are so broke and there are days you are so rich and you think you'll never be broke again, but the next week you are broke again. <laughs> you don't know what happened. <laughs> and then you've been like, where did all my money go? I didn't even buy anything for myself. What happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, it's a lot of investment. It's a lot of investment. I feel like everything, every dollar I make, I invest it back into the business. Yeah. Um, okay, it's just for a while. After a while, I'll be making enough profit to be able to take care of myself comfortably while still investing my business. But for now, everything is investment, investment, investment. So don't be tired of investing in yourself because mm -hmm. it's good for you. That's one um, no, I think that's a good one that people need to invest in themselves. I realized when I first started this business, I really started doing events that I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to break even. <laughs> then I'm just going to break even <laughs> and I'm just going to break even, right? You know, and then it's like one event, I, so, oh, I actually made some money. Yay. <laughs> you know? But with time, you know, things get better. You start making more money. Things start actually happening, but you just keep putting it back and keep putting it back to continue growing the business, right? A lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to start this business. I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to be good. Mm -mm. All the best. <laughs> That's not the reality. Most businesses take three to five years to turn a profit. Mm -hmm. So it takes time to actually really start to make money. Yeah, exactly. But if you love it enough, you're going to stick with it. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. I'm sticking. <laughs> I'm sticking. Well, that's definitely cool. That's definitely cool. 
So how can people find you on Instagram? So I know you're on Instagram, so because I follow you. <laughs> so Yele Stitches, Yele Stitches, everywhere, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, um, Facebook, everywhere, Yele Stitches, Google Business, Yele Stitches, it's Yele Stitches everywhere, Y-E-L-E, everywhere. <laughs> well, Yele, thank you so much for coming on with me this evening. I'm so excited oh, to, be here. to see you in like five days. I'm going to see you. And we're going to take all the cool pictures. Yeah. <laughs> very excited. I'm very excited because I'm going to be cute just because it's your event. Oh, thank you. I am. I'm so excited about this. I'm going to tell everybody. It's like, yeah, I'm going to a fashion show. <laughs> yeah, have you heard of her? Have you heard of her? <laughs> That's what I'm going to be saying. What are you going to be doing? Watching Netflix? Not me. <laughs> I'm going to this exclusive event. Ooh. <laughs> now, so I'm definitely excited. Thank you so much for coming on today. I know you probably got a lot of work to do, buddy, and everything else. And um, we will definitely talk soon. For anybody's looking to find you, again, her video will be posted as the Black Girl Everything LLC group on Facebook, as well as join on the Black Girl Everything YouTube channel. Your video will be posted up there as well for people to have access to it to follow you with all of your information. And, and the fact that your website and that whole custom thing, I'm going to go live tomorrow just to talk about that. <laughs> no, it's serious. Because that that right there, the fact that every single piece you offer, people get it customized to fit them is... <sighs> talk about a special offer. <laughs> it is. For my medium largo body, that really works out. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for asking me. I'm honored, honored to be on the platform. Thank you. No, you're more than welcome. We'll talk soon. All right. Have a lovely night. All right. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs>